December the 21st, which means four days until Christmas, or three days until Christmas Eve, or two days until Saturday, or one day until we find out who's going to be this year's Christmas number one. It's also the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year and the longest night. Meh. But that does mean that you can stay in bed all day and sack off work, you know, because of science. Anyway, my prediction for this year's Christmas number one is in door 21, which I'm going to show you at the end. Do you know who's in the running? Well, last week number one was Wham! with Last Christmas, and that hasn't been Christmas number one before. It was released in 1984, and it was pipped to that top spot by Live Aid with Do They Know It's Christmas? raising money for the Ethiopian famine. And I think it's safe to say that they do know it's Christmas now, thanks to Western imperialism, most of the world knows. But do you know when Kim Kat is? Apparently that's Ethiopia's biggest festival, when they all have a bath or something. It's on January the 19th, unless it's a leap year, and then it's the 20th. Hmm, learn something new every day. Another favourite for this year's Christmas number one is Sam Ryder, with your Christmas to me. And I bumped into Sam a couple of weeks ago in town. And I have to say, he is the nicest guy. And he's got the Amazon PR machine behind him, so he's got a good chance. Another honourable mention for the Christmas number one slot is the 12 Days of Christmas I recorded for this series. Now, a quick check on YouTube shows that I've had 13 streams, but I have had another couple of subscribers this week, so it could snowball at any time. There's also the possibility of the Pogues with Fairy Tale of New York getting to the number one slot. They were featured in my door number one. Check it out if you've not seen it. And Mariah Carey is also in the running this year. She's in the running every year with All I Want for Christmas. Now the first lyric of that song is I don't want a lot for Christmas. And then she goes on to say that all she wants for Christmas is you, which is an epic burn. And basically saying you're not worth much. We also have Sir Elton John and Ed Sheeran. They were number six last week. I've got to mention that because I'm selling this painting of Ed. He's such a talented young man. I'm talking about me and my art. Would you like to buy this painting? Who do you think is going to be Christmas number one tomorrow? This is my prediction. Christmas number one, 2023. Sam Ryder. Merry Christmas.